What is going on, y'all? Back with another. Hey, today we're changing it up. We're staying local. We're gonna troll the Columbia here. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get on them. News, news on the opener yesterday was pretty good. Got some good reports, some good insights. Shout out to Dead Worm Fishing. Thank you guys for all the tips. Could be, could be really good. It looked like it was yesterday. Hopefully those fish are still in there and get, didn't get pressured too hard, but we're expecting this first light bite to be pretty epic. So watch out, ladies and gentlemen. We got the we got the big sticks ready. We running some super baits, all super baits to start the day. So let's get after them. Get to the boat launch. We're gonna launch on the Pasco side. We'll see you guys out there. Hey. What, what, McGarry? You don't It's a big one. I walked through the mountain. Athletes angling. Hey, that's one ugly dude right there now. He scares the fish on there. He's so ugly. You're fine. Just stay where you're at. All the water, so we're good now. Yeah, especially when you don't pull up the rods, you ding dong. Oh, he's a toad, dude. Lift that rod up. He's freaking. to do with that net. That's a nice fish. Oh, that's a pig, dude. Holy shit. Man, dude, that's a pig. <laughs> that's a big one, dude. That's a 20 pounder. That's bigger than your other one. That's bigger than your other one. <laughs> oh my, dude. Yeah, that's a big one. As you can see, we caught a nice big summer Chinook, maybe even a Springer. Dark, yes but that thing cut absolutely sockeye cherry red. If you think that you gotta throw these fish back, they're washed out, screw that, man. Cut one of them up and see for yourself. B-roll right now.
So that wrapped up our first day, which was yesterday, Wednesday morning. Not sure if I mentioned this before, but this fishery opened on Tuesday, August 16th. And I believe that's the date every year. And it was super productive. Wish we would have fished it on the opener. Guys with a dozen sockeye, or I mean, <clears throat> Chinook in short order, boat limits. Um, not uncommon, I heard doubles, triples, pretty much every pass. Guys trolling into the current, guys trolling downhill. It's kind of whatever you want to roll with. Both super effective. Mouth of the Yakima there, Bateman Island trolling down. Um, we had our best luck holding in just above that rip coming out of the Yakima. Um, Pro Troll Flashers, Super Baits. Red was hot, um, so our first fish Wednesday, our only fish Wednesday, we landed on a Ranch and Home Custom Cowgirl original super bait. Tuna had salmon formula and krill, lots of natural sea salt, non-iodized, major key. And, you know, we had that thing whipping around, 30 inch leader behind our Pro Troll Flasher. Battled an oversized sturgeon too. That was fun. Uh, kind of let our gear get a little too deep on us. Thought we were snagged. Grabbed the rod and it starts migrating upstream. And I was like, oh boy, oh boy. Tighten down the hatches on that. Shout out Okuma. Trust my knots, trust my gear. I was, I was cranking that thing. My 10.6 was maxed out, let me tell you. Maxed out. We get on top of this sturgeon. I start cranking, it's dead weight, it's not coming up. Finally get everything back. I don't know how I did it. I got everything back. My hook ended up freaking being bent. I just pulled it right out of its mouth, man. I, I was pretty happy to be honest. Confidence booster for sure. Tied some good leaders, uh, what can I say? So that was the first day. And then today, Thursday, we did all right. We kind of figured it out a little bit, figured out our depths, where we wanted to start at. Dropped in, had a couple quick takedowns, uh, ended up with three fish in the box. Um, fish, hot color today was long shafter. Long shafter behind a fish and chip pro troll flasher. That's one of the ones that kind of has that tail kick. It doesn't make quite as big a 360, but it, it kind of just twirls. It's been super effective this year. I've been I've been running at least one every trip. Really happy with it. Um, so yeah, long shafter. It's kind of a pink, green, little chartreuse. Really haven't had much luck on it until today. So I'm happy with that. Maybe it was just depth, time and place type of thing. But and then we caught our other fish on a jackpot original cut plug standard size cut plug big one and um, yeah good day these fish are cutting cutting super nice I mean there's not you know they're they're bronzed up I mean heck it's east side baby a little suntan but I would love it great great fishery definitely gonna hit it again um, the only downside is the weeds, man. The weeds are tough. A lot of weeds pumping down the river. You gotta be constantly cleaning your gear. Cause if you're not, I mean, they're not gonna hit salad. So it's one of those things, you know, um, you get used to it and it's, it's no big deal, but fun time out there, learning something new, trying something different, close to home. Hope this helps you guys out. Um, smash that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button tickle that youtube algorithm let's go let's get this thing up to at least 250 um, share this out until next time tight line